Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. If you have the impression that something has changed about my look that looks a little weird, it's probably because of my new glasses. In this video I want to compare cheap and trashy appearing guitar gear that you could use for shoegaze with more professional and common gear that you would usually use for your shoegaze sound. Trashy gear sounds a bit harsh, it's actually more of an experiment that I try to show you guys here. Around 2009 I bought this 90s clock radio for 10 bucks on a flea market to listen to music in my kitchen. I recognized it represents the mid frequencies of music on the radio really good. So I started using it for mastering and mixing purposes in my home studio. Because luckily it has an aux input on the back side that enables me to connect it with my smartphone, headphones output of my computer's audio interface or even my guitar. So why not using it as a tiny amp? It could sound warm and midi, lo-fi and retro-ish. Some kind of interesting, right? Luckily I also once got this cute Vox Amplug headphones amplifier for 20 bucks on eBay. Its jack plug and stereo headphones output gives me the possibility to connect it with my guitar and all the effects I want just by using a simple 3.5 mm stereo jack cable. This way we get a really interesting amplifier for 30 bucks. For the reverse reverb and the distortion I will use an Alesis Guitar FX Multi FX pedal which is around 30 bucks used on eBay. It was recommended by Marcelo Badari on YouTube who also made a video that is called really small budget lo-fi guitar setup for shoegaze, noise pop, dream pop and now I finally have the chance to check out the reverse reverb sound on it as it's only 30 bucks, it could be really promising. To make it even more interesting, I will use one of my very first electronic guitars to create shoegaze sounds with it. So this specific guitar is an Ibanez RG350DXZ. Currently you would get it for something between 200 and 250 bucks on eBay, I guess. The cool thing about it is that it also has a whammy bar. So let's see if we all should overthink the use of Fender, Jazzmaster or Jaguar guitars for shoegaze or if we can use whatever we like. And here is how our 300 bucks shoegaze guitar gear would sound like. To evenly compare the expensive gear and the cheap gear I will use the Shore SM58 microphone for both recordings and this Fuck Perfection book for making my little radio amp. So I just turn up um, this radio amp a little bit. Um, here I try to use as less gain as I can to generate a clean sound. The clean sound of this little amp plug and the radio with a single coil of the Ibanez RG guitar would sound like this. just play an A chord and I just switch to the second fret position on the A string and to the second fret position on the E string which is an E now because I tuned it to drop D so it's like I do nothing else just this to generate a little shoegazy uh, feeling here and yeah and I bend the whammy bar So um, this is the reverse reverb of the Alesis Guitar FX pedal. What's very cool is that you can mix a little bit of your dry signal into the reverse reverb. Most reverse reverbs um, are not able to do this, so uh, most pedals like the Hardwire RV7 or the Polara reverb, uh, yeah, they are not able to do this effect. I really like that about this very cheap pedal for 25 bucks. 
and this is how it sounds with some distortion also from the pedal. show you how it sounds in a song context. Now let's compare this with some more advanced gear. In this case I will use my Fender 112 plus combo amp, which you can get for 250 bucks on eBay if it's available. For the reverse reverb sound I will use a Digitech Polara pedal that I got for 120 bucks on eBay. The overdrive sound will be the Death by Audio Waveformer Destroyer Fuzz pedal that you can get for 250 bucks online. And for sure my Fender Squire Jaguar guitar. I originally bought it for 350 bucks online and you can see I upgraded it a lot. For example, the body is made out of one piece of wood and it has an onboard Akai MPX-8 sample player. Because of this upgrades, I will round up the price of this guitar to one of an original Fender guitar, which is about 800 bucks. Now let's hear how our 1420 bucks shoegaze guitar setup would sound like. So on my Fender Princeton 112 Plus amp I will use the drive channel with some slight distortion on it. I use both pickups here to have a warmer and a more treble com component uh, in my guitar sound. This is my clean signal. This is the Digitech Polara pedal. Um, I'm using the reverse reverb setting with some decay, some uh, liveness and 50% level. It would sound like this. Try to come close to the sound that I used on the Alice's Guitar FX. And this is some overdrive by the Waveformer Destroyer by Death by Audio. So just some simple overdrive from a high quality drive pedal. So, and now comes the fun part, this is how it would sound in a song context. So, and just because I was curious and I know you want to know it as well, this is how the pro setup and the trash setup would sound together.
So thanks for watching. This was really fun and for me there's no um, better or worse. It's just different. I think this is proof enough that um, you don't need very expansive gear to create a basic shoegaze sound. I'm inspired by music a lot, but I never try to copy a sound completely. I just try to figure out on my own what would sound similar and um, I think you can create amazing sounds with very very less money today. So keep up creating, um, it was very fun to make this video. Let me know in the comments what you like more and if you have any other interesting ideas. You can also follow the channel if you really want to, but if you follow the channel then please click the notifications button on my channel page so you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Stay healthy, be nice to everyone, take care of yourself, see you later.